everyone, it's Amy, owner and curator of Yo So Boho. Welcome back to my channel and to another Tuesday night tabletop thrift haul. Tonight's thrift is from the Volunteers of America thrift shop in Aurora, Ohio. You have seen this place before and I have scored there. Now, this haul is a little smaller than the past hauls, but still found some great things. Went on 50% off day which is the last Tuesday of the month now if you missed it I did this last month as well I will share that link above I was there with my mom and at the time we still were under mask mandates which meant only six people could go into this house at one time and let me tell you this is a small place so this time I was with my aunt Beth and there was no mask mandate they literally opened the door and this flood of people like Every thrifter for themselves ran in <laughs> and started grabbing stuff. I was anxious the first time just because I was like waiting my turn, but I actually preferred that because this time I was anxious because just there was a lot of people and I didn't like the close proximity and I kind of darted around people and just grabbed stuff <laughs> that I saw that I wanted and we weren't there very long. <laughs> we were kind of in and out of there just because we were, both my aunt and I were kind of looking at each other like, eh. Yeah, let's make this a quick trip. So we, Beth, we need to go back there on a non 50% off day so that we could take our time and have the place to ourselves. I know I've said this in the past, but we need to go. Every time I shoot a video in the kitchen, my cat thinks she needs to eat. Right, Leaner? See? <laughs> All right, so let me get to this haul. It's a small one, like I said, but I found some nice things. What was neat was when we were leaving, they said, oh, there's another building out back, which we had no idea about. And I'll tell you what, it was very cool. They don't like hold back inventory for this day. They don't try and like clear house. They literally are putting stuff out all day. So you don't even have to go and stand in line. Go in the middle of the day. They were out back literally putting price tags on stuff as it was coming in and making it available for everybody, which was pretty awesome. I know my aunt grabbed a basket that she saw and she, she said, there's no price on this yet. And the woman said, here, and she slapped the price on it. And it was 50% off of whatever that price was, which was awesome. So keep that in mind. Everything I'm showing you is not what I paid for it. I paid half of that, which is awesome. Maybe I have to feed her. <laughs> so, so she'll stop crying. Are you starving? She's starving. I'll be right back. Okay, cats are fed. <laughs> so let's go outside first because those are the big things that you're seeing behind my shoulders here that I got outside. The first was this really great round rattan I want to say side table, but the glass that sits on top of this is probably twice the diameter. So it's more like a coffee table. It's a nice big round piece. In fact, it's so large and heavy that that's why this is sitting here without it. <laughs> that piece is outside. I want to say I paid either five or 10. It was either marked 10 or 20. I think it was marked 20. So I think I paid 10. Now I'm going to try and sell this locally first, probably on Facebook marketplace and probably for like 35 or $40. Um, it's not worth a ton, but it is something that catches my eye every time. You know, if you watch my channel, I love my wicker and my rattan. Sam, my friend from India, he would say this is cane furniture, which it is. It's made out of bamboo and look at how it's bent. This is a whole process. It's something that I just love and respect and a lot of other people are getting into that too. So um, this should sell, it should sell on Marketplace and if it doesn't, I'll take it over to the shop and you know i'll put a really good sell price on it <laughs> all right the other big thing is this red cute little kids shopping cart behind me look at this guy somebody hit him with some red paint and they didn't do that great a job like there's overspray on him but he's in great condition he is vintage He's got a really cool look to him, and I think he'll look great in our new Yoso Whimsical um, booth, just because it's this nice pop of red. And I also think I might hold him back until closer to the seasonal time, which is 
really not that far away <laughs> because this red is like that nice Christmas red and I could see stuff kind of coming out of it for um, the holidays. The price tag on this was $6.96, which means I paid less than $3.50 for it, which is amazing. Great little price. And then inside, we found a lot of little things that I grabbed. These two hats, they're being gifted. So if you're watching AJ and Travis, <laughs> these are coming to you. Um, my girl AJ is a Jeep owner and this hat just needs to go to her because it's pink and it's cool and she will rock it. It is from a local auto mall. I did not see anything like this on eBay, but I did see a lot of these pink themed like Jeep girls hats and they do really well. So I would say if I was to sell it, it's probably about a $20 plus hat. It has never been worn, it's brand new, and I paid $2.99. So that means I paid $1.50 actually. So great little find going to my friend AJ. And then Harley, everything Harley seems to sell. That's what I'm hearing anyway. This again is a hat that doesn't look like it's ever been worn. The brim is nice and fresh. And I paid half of $4.99, so $2.50 for this one. And I have somebody very close to me who just got a Harley. So this hat is going to him. Did you spot the brown drip down here? Oh, I rarely find brown drip pieces that aren't just the run of the mill mugs and you know, bowls and stuff. But they had this wonderful, it's called a ball pitcher because it's got that big kind of ball look to it. Beautiful, pristine condition. Look at how shiny it is. It's gonna photograph very well. Although, I think I might try a couple of these because I haven't taken any big pieces of brown drip over to the shop to see if they'll do well. I paid $2.50 for this. And it's probably a $15 to $20 piece if I was to sell it on eBay. I'm guessing like $18. Um, at the shop, probably a little bit more, maybe $20. Um, just because I can compensate a little for that shipping. It's a really nice piece. I have one of these, so I don't need to keep it. If you don't watch and you don't know, this is my collection. I collect um, Hall Brown Drip, made by Hall, H-U-L-L. -L. And I do collect the brown. This is a mirror brown. Look at how shiny. And they also had the cookie jar. The one that just says cookies. And it's in wonderful condition as well. It's probably donated by the same person, I imagine. Now, I have a funny story. My cookie jar, I have this exact same one. I also have the gingerbread one, by the way. But he's not for sale. <laughs> um, I found mine at a Goodwill. And my mom walked right past it. And I remember yelling at her, like, across the store. <laughs> not yelling, yelling, but you know. Like, Mom, how did you pass this? And like she came around the corner and I was like, <laughs> how did you, how did you walk past this? It was like right at the height of when I was collecting and building my collection. So I was so stoked to find it at a Goodwill, like cheap. Speaking of cheap, I paid four bucks for this. And this is probably a 20 to $30 piece. So something maybe a little north of 25. And again, I think I'm going to put these in the booth and see if they sell there. I do not see a lot of brown drip at our antique mall. So this might actually sell there. This is a fun little piece and I actually saw this and I remember thinking, oh, I need to go back over there. And so on my way out, because I had checked out already, my aunt was standing in line and I grabbed it and I handed it to her and I said, add this to your stuff. Do you hear that? Did you see that? There's somebody trying to get in over here. Like, Either a four-legged or a three-legged beast is trying to get in that door right there. So I'm going to try and ignore it. We'll see how that works. It was marked 90 cents, which means 45 cents. And it is just a little white ceramic pottery barn canister. You put anything in here because it just says, etc. Like whatever, etc. You put it in here. I don't know what, but you put it in there. 
it's got a cute little lid and I saw one recently sold for $15. So that's a nice little turnaround for 45 cents. I found a wallet. It's a vintage wallet. It says Prince Gardner on it. I was not familiar with that. I honestly bought it because Earth needed a wallet. Since then he got his own. <laughs> <laughs> but I paid $2.50 for it, so it was a good grab. I think I saw this particular wallet sell right around $20. I'm not sure. Of course, I'll share it below. But nice little grab in the box for $2.50. I grabbed this guy. Look at how cute he is. He's so boxy. <laughs> He's got like that boxer boxer look. Mm, I'm a boxer. <laughs> I love him. He was 90 cents as well, which means he was 45 cents. And he's just a made in Japan piece that is pretty great. Needs cleaned up, but I think he'll sell for 12 to $15 and I will probably list him on eBay since he's a nice substantial piece. I'm betting he's probably four and a half, five inches tall. Did you see this back here? Can you tell it's a mailbox? It's a really cool kind of galvanized, distressed mailbox. It's not old. It's actually kind of new. It says it was from Gordman's and the original price, their price is 70, while Gordman's price was 30. So I got it for half of eight. 98 which basically means four dollars and fifty cents it is a nice piece i'm always attracted to this galvanized stuff like i love the old watering cans and the buckets and those big like wash tubs so of course i was drawn to this it has this nice little letter slot that can be dropped in and then of course when you go to take your mail out you can access it with a bigger opening it's nice. I think it probably could do $20 or $30 on eBay. And I might try it there since I did see some others listed, but nothing like this. And this has a very kind of cool, oldish look to it. So I like it. These guys are from Pier 1. They're wonderful. They're so whimsical and colorful and I love them. And I love that they got a short one and a tall one. When I do candles, I prefer that, that asymmetrical look rather than the same height. I like that. So these originally sold for 10 and 15 and it looks like I paid a buck and a buck and a half. So for 250, great pier one. And I want to say I've seen these listed same height pairs for like 20 and I saw a low and a high one listed for like 29. Pier one is still in business. They have an online business, but for some reason, pier one things are selling well because I don't know if people know that. <laughs> there, there are discontinued items and I'm sure that these are older discontinued items. So I'm sure that they would sell on eBay. Um, in fact, I know I saw a set that sold, I'll share it below. I think it was like a 17 or $18 sale. I'm gonna put these in our booth because in our Yoso Whimsical booth, these would be awesome. Just the color and they are very whimsical. So I like them a lot. I'm guessing for the set, I'll probably put 20 or $25 on them. They're super cool. Finally, I picked up a bag of jewelry. Picked it up for $4.94, so half of that, $2.50-ish, a little less than $2.50. And this is not everything that was in it. I have that stuff here below me. The reason I grabbed it was, one, I saw these, and I love these. Can you tell? I knew it. <laughs> I had to find something to match his earrings for the... Uh, for the video. I was like, hmm, oh, I know exactly what will match those earrings. <laughs> I have the right blouse for that. So check me out, all matchy matchy. And then I also put this on just because it has some similar colors and it's just a cheap, you know, not an expensive um, bangle bracelet. Elast it has elastic in it. And then there were some other fun things that I did see in there. One was a second set of these earrings. 
So these ones are actually longer, but kind of thinner and very pretty. These have a silver with some beads, while these have like a gold or a rose gold little top there. They had some hoops. I'm sure these are real diamonds. So big hoops with diamonds. And you can see all of these price stickers had like $2.99 to like $4.99. So originally they were asking five for these and I literally got all of these for like less than $2.50. So that was amazing. And the other reason why I grabbed them was because I saw three brooches in them. So I'll share those with you. This first one, I want to say it's Avon. It's marked, but I have not zoomed, zoomed in to see what it is. But just looking at it now, I'm going to say it looks Avon. So I would not doubt if it was. This one's super pretty. I want to say just because of the silver and the bright silver, it looks almost like it could be a winter piece. But it also has the flowers, which it looks like a good all season piece. It's got such a nice bright silver to it. Now I did not see a mark on this, but I might want to get out my little diamond tester. Because I have these too. I don't think that they're diamonds for real, but I might as well test them. I've been looking for things to test <laughs> with my new diamond tester. Anybody who has anything that looks like a diamond, I'm like, ooh, can I test it? <laughs> and the last one, which I love, and the other reason why I picked up this bag is this one. And this one does look a little vintage. The back is, you know, it's, it's showing some vintage to me. Um, this would make a really pretty pendant, and it would have went with my outfit here. Maybe I should have done that. I do like this piece, and I may keep this for a while. It's got kind of an atomic-y look to it, and that's probably why I like it. There were some other things, but not anything of true value. Um, I might put some on my website in the $5 area, um, or I may just drop them off at the shop and put some small price tags on them and see if they sell there. All right, everybody. So that is the whole haul. I told you it was a little small today, but we did find some cool things. Hey, if you're still here hanging out with me, I love you the most. I really appreciate you. And if you're here hanging out with me and you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. Just hit the button and then click that little alarm a couple of times so you know when I put up a new video because I do that a couple of times a week. All right. Leave me a comment down below. Tell me if I found anything that you thought was a treasure or just say hello. Don't forget to click that like or dislike button. I don't care. <laughs> and share us out so we can continue to grow the channel. All right, everybody. I hope you're doing well. I will see you on Thursday. Bye.